Good morning and Merry Christmas. Welcome to St Ninian's here in Christophen in Edinburgh. My name is James Aitken and I'm delighted to welcome you to our Christmas morning service here in St Ninian's. Wherever you are, we are joining together online as a church, as a community of God's people to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. You may be on your own this Christmas, you may be celebrating with other people this Christmas, but if you're on your own, know this, that in Jesus Christ, God was Emmanuel, God with us. We're celebrating as a church community together, and you're not on your own. God is with you in Jesus Christ, Emmanuel. We'll worship this morning by singing carols, by hearing a story, by lighting the Christmas candle, by reading the Bible, and by praying. And I'm delighted that you can join with us in celebration of the birth of Jesus Christ. At the beginning of worship in St Ninians, we always wish each other the sign of peace. If there's someone with you, turn to them now and say, peace be with you. If you're on your own, why not join us at half past 11 after you've watched this service to share in some Christmas fellowship on Zoom. You should have a link in order to join us. If you don't, then email me and I will send you a link uh, during this service. Join us on Zoom and say, peace be with you and share some festive Christmas greetings. Peace be with you. We sing our first carol, a celebration of the birth of Jesus Christ this Christmas morning. We sing all four verses of O Come All Ye Faithful.
On this Christmas morning, we light our fifth Advent candle, Jesus Christ, the light of the world. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has never put it out. God sent a messenger, a man named John, who came to people uh, to tell people about the light so that all should hear the message and believe. Let us sing our Advent candle lighting hymn, except today it's our Christmas candle lighting hymn. It's hymn number 282, it's Christmas is coming, and we sing all the verses this morning. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light shining on those in the land of the shadow of death. A light has dawned. Let us pray. Lord God, in the person of Jesus Christ, you are not beyond the earth, not beyond the stars, not cocooned in heaven, not cradled in unconcern. You are not far away from us. You are very close to us. You are committed to us. Loving God, in the life of Jesus Christ, you made our home your home, our manger your manger, our Bethlehem your Bethlehem. No more do we call you in from the abstract places of our imagination. No longer do we seek to bend your will to ours through sacrifices and offerings. From now on, you are living with us. By his example, you are listening to us, healing us, mending our broken ways, forgiving our harmful actions and words, celebrating with us, suffering alongside us. From now on, loving God, you are God with us, Emmanuel. Living God, may our worship this Christmas reflect your closeness to us. Resound to the peal of rejoicing bells and illuminate our faith so that it may shine like a star reflecting through us your commitment to everyone. May your word become flesh in our lives through what we do, in what we say, by how we think, so that your world may hear the glad song of the angels. Glory be to God in the highest, and on earth, peace. 
We pray in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, born to us this day, who lives on earth and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray, saying together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for ever. Amen. We sing our next Christmas morning carol. It's hymn number 313. It's See in Yonder Manger Low. The scripture reading this morning is from the Gospel of Luke at chapter 2, verses 1 to 14. In those days a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, 
to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy to all people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favours. Amen. We sing our next carol, Child in the Manger. Now, if uh, you're a young child, or an older child, or an even older child, and you're an adult, why don't you come closer to the front now? I'm going to read you a story, a Christmas story. Um, it's called Refuge. Here it is here. And um, it's produced by a company with the support of an organization called War Child. And, uh, the book, um, when you buy it, uh, when I bought it, they give donations to the organisation War Child, which helps children and families who are fleeing countries where there is war and who become refugees. And this story is the story of Jesus from the point uh, at which he was born and immediately afterwards. Um, it's the story that starts on Christmas Day, on today, the first little bit of Jesus's story. It's called Refuge. And it begins with the story of the donkey. The man led me and I carried the woman all the way to Bethlehem. And then the baby was born. And uh, you can see, I don't know if you can see the picture here of uh, the baby in Joseph and Mary's arms. There's a wee ox down here. The shepherds came first. Here are the shepherds arriving at, at Bethlehem and into the inn. And then after them came kings. When the last king left, the scent of frankincense lingering in the air. We all slept, and the man had a dream, a dream of danger. 
you know, the kings and Joseph and Mary and the baby Jesus. He woke long before the sun rose and told the woman. She took the baby and kissed him. She smelled his sweet baby breath and felt his soft, warm baby skin and how his lashes trickled her cheek as he sleepily nuzzled her neck. Time to go, she said. Then they wrapped him up warm and kissed him again and the man came to get me. He patted me between the ears and led me out. Come on, old friend, we're off on a journey again. And we left some gold for the innkeeper, for he had been good to us when others had not. And we set off under the starlight through empty streets while people were sleeping, hoping for the kindness of strangers again. And here they are, Mary and Joseph, and the baby on the donkey is back, leaving Bethlehem in the very early morning while it's still dark. And we passed the shepherds in the fields, and there were whispered blessings, and the movement of sheep in the darkness, and the clasp of rough hands, and the love of warm hearts. And I kept walking, carrying my precious load, and the woman held the baby close to her heart, and she and the man talked about journeys and dreams and warnings and the love of a baby and the kindness of strangers. And when we rested and they were frightened, they took hope from each other and from the baby's tiny first smile. And we entered Egypt. You can see a picture here they are. And coming, the sun's coming up here, and here they are entering one of the cities in Egypt. They've had to flee their home country. And there we found refuge. And here they are, gathered round a table, receiving a meal from strangers, the baby Jesus in the middle. And on the last page, here is the donkey who's been telling us the story also in Egypt, safe. On Christmas Day, we celebrate the birth, not just of a baby, but of someone who was born to turn the world upside down. This baby grew up to be the person we look to for guidance and leadership and love and acceptance in our lives. The remarkable thing is that this baby, this king, is not from a palace and did not live a life of great wealth and power and importance. He was born in a stable, and became a vulnerable and poor refugee, an outcast, someone whose life was in danger. And he never rose to become much more wealthy or any more powerful. In the birth of Jesus, God shows us the value and dignity of those of us, those people in the world who are often forgotten about. Whoever you are, this Christmas, whether you are lucky enough to be with someone you love or whether you are celebrating alone, know that God loves you and that this baby, born in a remote province of an empire, into poverty, destined immediately to become a refugee fleeing for his life, was born for you to show you that you are loved. We sing our next carol, God rest ye merry gentlemen.
Let us pray. God, giver of joy, we thank you for meeting us here in the child born to save us. You have prepared us for a journey. The light of Christ shining like a star shows us the way we should go and the ones we should serve. May our faces, lifted up in wonder and expectation, reflect the light for all who live in darkness. Living God, may the worship we have shared this Christmas lead to acts of service which transform people's lives. May the carols we sing this Christmas help others to sing even in their sadness. May the gifts we exchange this Christmas deepen our spirit of giving throughout the year, and may they remind us also of the gifts we have received this year when our lives and our country was experiencing the toughest of times. The gifts of health care and caring, the gifts of sharing and helping, the gifts of thoughtfulness and love. May the candles we light this Christmas remind us that you intend no one to live in darkness. May the people we meet this Christmas remind us that we meet you in our neighbours. May the stories we tell this Christmas be good news of great joy to us and all people. May the gathering together of family this Christmas help us to appreciate anew the gift of loved ones, and where that can't happen, remind us of the need all year to be companions to the friendless and family to the unloved. May the ways you have come close to us this Christmas not be forgotten, but hidden in our memories, be a rich resource to lift us up when times are painful, and keep us humble when we feel triumphant. For you are our life, our light, and our salvation this season and always. Jesus Christ, our Lord, who was born for us and lives with you, Father God, eternal Creator, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our next carol is Good Christians All Rejoice. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you all. Let us go out singing, Joy to the World.